Red didn't read the first paragraph of an article. I'd been to quite a few climate protests. Proceeds to catch a short distance flight. Nice. I carpooled my way from Graz to Vienna. Did you read the article? Yeah, he carpooled from Graz to Vienna to get a plane. I carpooled my way from Graz, Austria, where I live, to Vienna and met some interesting characters along the way. One was a German expatriate who wanted to catch a flight to Cologne where the carnival was fully underway. Besides the inaccuracies, who wants to explain to the author that butterflies aren't animals? Shall I do it? I'll do it. Butterflies are animals. They are insects and belong to the animal kingdom. The other five kingdoms are plants, fungi, protists, bacteria, and archaebacteria. Ar I have not seen a lot of these words in a long time. I don't need to Google shit. By your logic, a zodiac animal could be a house plant. It's not important enough to have an actual argument over, but the logic you're attempting to apply here is flawed. No biggie. Blank was about to say something similar, lol. Makes you wonder if they were listening at school. Wrestling journalist tried to be a grammar police. You're a wrestling journalist and can't understand this, LMFAO. If you're gonna throw wrestling journalist in quotation marks as an insult, maybe learn your your first. Uh, they used the right your, though. On a post about the Columbus Blue Jackets hockey team. Blue Jacket is literally a racist term from the Civil War to represent the Confederacy, but your wokeism is so fucking stupid you don't even know that. Wrong. However, the name officially refers to Union Soldiers of the Civil War. A 1997 dispatch story about the name's unveiling noted that Ohio sent more soldiers per capita to the Union Army than any other state did. And no, sir, you're wrong. The Confederate wore blue, the Union wore red. You're wrong. He has to be joking, right? He has to be ironic, right? He's just pretending to be a moron. Got it. When your passion for chains is greater than your knowledge, it's a fake Halloween decoration. This is what the largest dog breed in the world, Asian Shepherd Dog, looks like. It is used to protect livestock because it can easily defeat wolves. The chain around his neck used to anchor the USS Enterprise from the looks of it. It's just a Halloween decoration. That is undoubtedly a metal chain around that dog's neck. It is also undoubtedly being used as armor to protect that dog's throat from the wolves it's bred to absolutely destroy to protect its flock. The extra links in front of the animal are undoubtedly for extra protection as the dog swings about while engaging multiple targets. I also doubt the woman feeding the animal half a fowl decided to drive to the gag store and hunt down a giant fake chain to to make the absolute unit appear more unit-like. Edit. Downvote me all you want. You're wrong if you genuinely think that working animal is wearing a plastic chain that one, hasn't been chewed to shreds by the tank of a canine, and two, is merely for decoration. A plastic chain is intimidating who exactly? The wolves the dog is bred to fight off? This breed of dog is often called the wolf smasher or the wolf crusher. They're bred to fight off wolves and f***ing bears to protect their flock. So either that chain is a cute little plastic decoration serving no purpose but to make the already incredibly intimidating animal more intimidating to a population of exactly zero, or it is solid metal protective armor to help the animal fight off packs of f***ing wolves, or maybe just a single f***ing bear, lol. It's a fake plastic chain, two PCS Halloween chains, plastic chains, props toy. Yeah, I, I, I can't imagine putting that much effort into typing up two paragraphs because you, you're you so certain a decoration is real. I I don't get it. Guy tries to scold someone over verbiage, doesn't understand words. One time I literally had a metalhead tell me, I don't really listen to music, I mostly just listen to metal. Disclaimer, I know that metal is music. Versus figuratively or hypothetically telling you. It's fun to pretend not to know that people use the word literally emphatically. That's not what <laughs> empathetic means. Yeah, they didn't say empathetically, they said emphatically. Learn to read. What do you think about this? NASA was born in 1958. 1972 is the year they show us around Earth. How did Hollywood know what the Earth looked like before NASA? A universal picture, 1927 globe image before NASA's in 1972. Homie, here's a globe from the 16th century. Everyone has literally known the world was round for centuries. Round, yes, I agree. A globe, no, impossible. If gravity exists, tell me how birds can fly one meter up the sea. Gravity do not attract birds. Read aeronautics. Bird wings counteract gravity because of their structure. Ah, uh, okay, so gravity can keep billions and billions of water around a globe, but birds are not under the law of gravity. And you really think your explanation is a 
scientist one? Okay, what about super tanker? If a bird in flight stops flapping and folds his wings, you'll see gravity take over. No, you are wrong. You will see the density of the bird falling, not the gravity in action. Conservation of mass, bruh. Damn, dude. Please open a book. I'm begging you. Today I learned that Witcher 3 is in an RPG because, quote, you can't make your own character. And this is in r slash Harry Potter game for some reason. While this game is fun, it can't be compared to Witcher 3. There are multiple subplots in The Witcher 3 that could have been fantastic games on their own. This game blows Witcher 3 out of the water. Witcher 3 does not even qualify as an RPG. Can't make your own character. Nah, they must be talking about Hogwarts Legacy. You are entitled to your completely wrong opinion. I mean, it is entirely factual that Witcher 3 isn't an RPG. It is an open world action adventure game, not an RPG. The whole point of an RPG is creating a character and placing yourself in the game. No, even if you don't make your character, a role-playing game is still a role-playing game. You're taking the role of a character, whether or not it is created by you. A little science lesson for the hashtag idiots at the Global Warming Conference. Iceberg, ocean. Iceberg melts, ocean level remains the same. I love science, except buoyancy. Except some ice sits on dry land, oops. Your uterus is a cave outside of your body. You have a weird way of thinking about something that is natural. Who poisoned your mind into such a harsh way of thinking about your own children? That your body can have living in your uterus, which is technically outside rather than inside a woman. It's like a cave. I'm sorry, but how is the uterus outside of the woman? Take a look at a diagram of the female body. The vagina is a passage into the uterus, a hole leading to a hole. The hole itself is vacant until something arrives in it. The placenta is formed as a wall due to the pregnancy, and the baby attaches to the placenta. The three parts of the US government. Lamau, you are an absolute idiot. The three branches are the House, Senate, and Presidency? Maybe learn a little about our government before you spout off some bullshit. Holy shit, and you're so confident too. You can't really be that stupid, can you? I am laughing so hard right now, holy shit. Leaves are for trees, not books. You take leaves from books, not pages? Well, Drew, it's a pretty common idiom used across the English-speaking world. I'm sure you could use the page and still impart the same meaning. That's the beauty and horror of the English language for the literal thinkers. You take a page out of someone's book, not a leaf. Taking a leaf out of someone's book is not the phrase. Google is your friend. Michelle Yeoh is the second woman of color to ever win Best Actress at the Oscars. Asian people are people of color now? They have always been considered as such. News to me, cause where is the color? <sniffs> on a post requesting the calorie count of fried chicken that was sitting on a scale showing 60 grams. Doesn't it say 60 calories on the calorie weigher? That's a scale. It measures food in grams. You can't tell how many calories are in a food by its weight. I'm honestly surprised you were able to create a Reddit account, but don't understand basic logic. I literally have one at home, and it tells me the calories of foods. Calories are based on weight. No, they're not. Because if you have more food, obviously it will have more calories. Cringe. Oh god, lol. Calorie weigher is taking me out. I really hope this person is able to function in society. This made me sad. Never give an infant honey, as it will create bot botulin, bot botulin it it'll create bacteria, but floppy baby syndrome. I saw this exact thing in my trauma career. The second the mom said she made homemade medicine based on honey, I turned to my doc and said botulism. We sadly could not save the baby as the mom had waited way too long to get him to us. Me and my doc went outside after working on the baby for two hours and just cried together. Whatever, lol. Make up more stories. No baby has died from honey. No, it's not possible, lol. I don't need to Google everything like you. I pay attention in life. I just need someone to explain to me why airplanes don't board back to front. No, when you stand up, you press down harder so you weigh more standing up. You don't weigh more standing up, but your weight is spread over a smaller surface area which applies more pressure. It's true, people weigh more standing up. No, they don't. Not just the ridiculous claim about the number of partners that women have each year, but also the bizarre math on the men's numbers. 
This is literally true. Depending on the source, women have 100 to 250 partners per year. Sure, this was on the high side of the estimates, but definitely not out of the question. Meanwhile, men having only 20 to 30 partners per year on average, with 90% having less than two and 10% getting all the female attention. It's sexism, plain and simple. Are you serious? You think women have sex every one to two days? On average, yeah. Obviously, some will be lower. Apparently only men can be colorblind? How did you become colorblind since women are not colorblind by birth? Actually, that's a myth. Women can be born colorblind. It's just more rare for them to be red-green colorblind. Not a myth, because I have been to a doctor's and have colorblind children. Cool. Their reply wasn't even grammatically correct. You definitely need to have passed English and maths, not just for university, but for any future job. Is this common satire? I can't tell. If not, you spell past as past in the context of your sentence. Imagine he added a perfect loop to these videos. Imagine. No, it's imagine. Don't correct me. It's imagine. Sure thing, buddy. Thanks. Nice try, but slavery is illegal. Has been since 1865, actually. United States laws certainly apply all over the world, don't they? I'd like you to show me the exact line in the 13th Amendment that says this only applies to the US. Sunshine wants to stay in the dark. So I learned a useless fact today while doing some continuing education. You can get vitamin A poisoning from eating a polar bear liver. Apparently the entire liver has enough vitamin A to kill 52 humans. There's no way that's true. Vitamins don't kill people. In very high doses it definitely can, but it's not common. Vitamins are sold for health in stores. I highly doubt they would sell them if they were dangerous. Well, they don't sell polar bear livers, which is what I'm talking about. Don't be ridiculous. Ain't nobody eating eating some cold ass livers, so your point is moot and I stand by my comments. Okay, look, people out there may not be eating cold ass livers, but those cold ass livers can kill you. Redditor proves Doc's wrong. If you want to get some sleep, so what? It's your dick and urine is sterile, so you can't get sick from it. Right. What do my fellow South Americans have to say about this? South America is not a continent, it is a region, America is the continent. I hope you joking. Bro, tell me you are being sarcastic. Bro, Google is free. <laughs> this guy thinks he knows more than the dubbing actor of Goku in Spanish. The Japanese version is not dubbing. It's so sad that a dubbing actor doesn't know what his guild does. Mario, friend, giving voice to animated characters is also dubbing. What a pity you give. Dubbing is the substitution of dialogues in a soundtrack for dialogues in a different language than the original. In the production of animated cartoons, the original audio is known as audio guide, and it is recorded before the beginning of the animation. It is not dubbing. Mount Everest has relocated to South Dakota. There's no snow leopards on Mount Everest or anywhere in the wild in America. Mount Everest isn't even in America. I'm Canadian and I know that. It's in South Dakota. Right. The question was 10 minus 10 times 10 plus 10. 10, bro. Whoever got it incorrect should be put in elementary again. R slash confidently incorrect. You're literally the one that got you wrong. A cooked steak is full of blood or pus because I say so. That's how people get sick not having their steak well done. Eating blood is not healthy. Blood carries carbon dioxide and other waste materials to the lungs, kidneys, and digestive system to be removed from the body. That steak isn't done. There's no blood in the meat after it's processed. That is actually called myoglobin. It's when the tissues from the muscles start to break down. That's not blood. It's blood or pus. The steak isn't cooked. It isn't blood, lol. Do some research there, bud. Call it what you want, I say it's blood. Apparently, Doofus thinks the EU and Europe are one and the same. You're not in Europe, you drive on the right side of the road. Little does she know, Lamau. There's two problems with that. One, that's only in UK, and two, UK has left the EU. So the UK is not in Europe? The UK is still part of Europe. Wrong. Brexit was the withdrawal of the United Kingdom from the... Uh, you know, it's cut off, but yeah, they're wrong. Live artillery shells. Ironic, there was no such thing as a live artillery shell in the 1860s. They used projectiles. Not much of an archaeologist's. Do your homework. 
Do your homework. That's pure nonsense. Exploding shells were around as early as the 14th century. Major Shrapnel invented the design that popularized his name in the early 1800s. And several live shell designs were in use during the Civil War, including Armstrong and Hotchkiss rifled shells. Live shells are being found all the time. Some estimates think over 1.5 million live shells were fired by artillery pieces in the Civil War, and as many as 20% of them failed, leaving a lot of unexploded ordnance out there to be found called me Cheeto fingers and everything. Too skinny. And imagine skinny shaming someone. And uh, it's two with two O's. Learn to spell before criticizing someone. Exactly. I didn't spell anything wrong, Cheeto fingers. And I don't have to imagine I already did. No such thing as unskilled labor. That is unskilled labor. Wrong. How to maths good. LOL ALGEBRA? We can see without math magic that 0.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
period. But the penis is literally a reproductive organ. It, how do you think humans reproduce? Genius. Jailbroke. Pay attention in class, please. Jailbreaked. But go off, I guess. Dude was so confident as well, Lamau. Jailbroke. Braked is not a word. Well, I'm from Ulster, and I had no idea we moved from the island recently. <laughs> Ulster is not in Ireland, Poppet. Has any remainer seen a map ever? One out of five stars, missing letter. Absolutely gutted, I've just sat it and blown up all the letters to find that the D is missing, but been replaced with an extra A. It's my daughter's birthday tomorrow, and now I won't be able to decorate it as planned. Not happy at all. <sighs> I, 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 I don't even know what to say to this one. That's just impressive. I think it's pretty gross people breastfeed. It's not milk, it's body fluids. Might as well feed your little one your pee. We have bottles and formula that's meant to feed your baby. Stop giving your body fluid a classy name by calling it milk. It's not milk. Milk comes from cows. It's almost like saying almonds make milk. Idiots everywhere. You're the idiot of Facebook, bud. It clearly says spaghetti. People incorrectly correcting other people. You're, but you're right. No, it's not your. Or maybe it's, you know, pepper. 495 fries at Buffalo Wild Wings. How much extra do they charge to cook them? If you have to ask, you can't afford it. How much extra for them to clean their vats? The black specks on the fries are deposits from burnt up stuff in the vats, indicating that they need to replace or filter their oil. No, pretty sure that's just pepper. But yeah, yeesh, I mean, $5 for that? Come on, Buffalo Wild Wings, I like your wings! If you're gonna be a pedantic ass, be a correct pedantic ass. Otherwise, you're just an ass. Looks like a lot of people still don't consider Bush bad. That would be the people who do not read, or use commas in the word don't. Or use commas in the word don't. Sir, that's an apostrophe. If you want to call someone out for grammar, make sure you have it right as well. Lol, piss up a rope. Aw, someone's mad they got caught being wrong. I'm not, but Americans seem very proud to still use miles like us in other systems. Britisher isn't a word, by the way. Are you a moron? Britisher. A British person. I actually did not know that was a word. Don't even get her started on seatbelts. What a car crash looks like at various speeds. Face palm. If they'd stop making cars out of fiberglass plastic, there'd be more protection. Cars used to be made of metal and people weren't dying in car accidents like they are today. Cars are being made out of these cheap materials and sold at ridiculous prices when they're nothing but a death trap. There needs to be a law against this. Paying an arm and a leg for a car that crumbles when hit should be against the law. <sighs> and it has 546 reactions. A lot of them are likes. Redditor learns how color works. Oh, Reddit, if we're not careful, someone will make a TIL post about the ocean not actually being blue. Huh? Are you under the impression that the ocean is some other color? The ocean isn't actually blue. It absorbs all the other wavelengths of light. Blue is what's reflected back until you hit a certain depth. Everyone says I look 16 plus, but I'm 14. They're lying to you, babe. There, if you're going to try and insult a child love, get it right. The irony that you're both wrong. Beavers to be reintroduced in West London. There aren't any canals in West London. Where are they going to live? In a bin next to Victoria? POV. You are today years old when you learn that determiners such as most and least work with plural nouns. Good to have knowledge that others want, used to be prized highly before internet and AI, still a worthy goal in my opinion. More than a worthy goal, knowledgeable people tend to surround themselves with other knowledgeable people. Learning is the most healthy and worthwhile of basis for adult relationships. Then let me teach you something, it's spelled basis. It is spelt paid outside of America as in Australian, Britain, and other English-speaking non-American countries. No, it isn't. It is. Confidently incorrect will like this one. This guy has a weird take on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Also doesn't understand how wild animals work. If everyone's needs were met, we would procreate ourselves to oblivion. The Earth needs people to expire so that we do not overpopulate and deplete all of our resources. Wrong. If this were true, the wealthiest humans would be expected to have the most children, but reality is the opposite. We don't feed wild animals because when we do, they tend to overproduce. Humans are no better. That is absolutely not why we don't feed wild, nor even stray animals. I studied evolution for one whole day, so I'm an expert now. 
After doing lots of research today, I never realized just how shaky and inconclusive all the evidence for human evolution is. So many blanks we filled in, predicted, and guessed with our own imaginations. So many missing links, so many chronological inconsistencies.